Let's take a look at configuration auditing. And this is where Nessus will log in with credentials to your remote hosts and then compare the settings, files, registry keys, conditions that exist on your target with a list of preset known conditions um, that it should expect on the host. So for example, there may be a, a configuration auditing policy that can compare your system settings. If this registry key should be equal to X, Nessus will log into the Windows system, see what the values of that registry key, key and make a compare. If it's different, it will say, hey, there's an alert here. So what this is allows us to do is a lot of different things. Uh, for example, I'm going to bring up the uh, the support portal. We can actually download some of your um, policies here. We can download all of your dot audit policies, and you can see we can search the system for different types of information. So, for example, we can go down and we can say, "Hey, for PCI, search the systems for credit card numbers." So it'll look inside the files on the Windows system and say, "Hey, does this file contain credit card numbers?" And compare that and search your systems for personal information such as social security numbers. So those options are available to you as well. Now there's lots of different configuration auditing or compliance auditing files that are on there. Um, some of my favorite ones to recommend to people are the CIS Compliance um, Center for Internet Security uh, offers you know the different policies. Uh, for all kinds of different systems and software. So it's not just your operating system, right? It can be if you're running a bind DNS server. Hey, there's here's what the Center for Internet Security recommends your settings are uh, should be. Here's what your settings are. Here are the differences. Let's take a look at some examples of that. Inside of my policies here, uh, I'm going to look at one of my compliance audit policies. And basically, you know, I've, I've pretty much left the defaults. Again, I've entered some credentials here. Um, for the plugins that you want to enable, you want to go in here, say policy compliance, and here I'm doing a Unix compliance check. So I've just enabled the Unix compliance chat, uh, checks. I go into preferences, I come down here, and I want to go into Unix compliance checks. You see I've uploaded uh, a couple of files. Um, so I've got a custom one that I created. And I also said, hey, lock into the system and compare its configuration against the CIS Center for Internet Security Standards for Apache. If I want to upload more, I can click the Browse button here uh, and upload a new file that I've downloaded from the website. So that's how you get files in and out of your policy. If you do upload a new one into this policy file number two, do make sure that you click Clear. Okay. Um, so then you launch that scan like you do any other scan. And when you come into the results, I've got a couple of different results I want to show you. So here's the compliance audit for the Linux system that I was running. And you can see I've got 79 high severity vulnerabilities um, that are different from my network checks, different from my local patch checks there. You know, your password authentication in SSH is not configured according to the standard um, that I was told to compare it against. Uh, so I've also got that very same Windows 2000 host that I used as a target and I performed a CIS compliance audit against it and you can see I've got 129 high vulnerabilities and again these are things that have to do with your uh, password policies and configuration of the system separate from stuff found on the network separate from stuff found when I've locally logged in the system and checked it for patches. Um, so that's essentially how you perform configuration auditing again it's kind of the the third scan type um, that I describe to people um, which provides you just an awesome capability uh, for auditing all of your systems for all kinds of different compliance standards as well as um, all kinds of other bells and whistles just to show you some of the other things you can do configuration auditing against your antivirus software you can do it in support of PCI so there are lots of different options for you